Hi guys, today we're going to talk about a common question when players first come to the paddle court regarding the backhand. They always ask, should they use double-handed backhand or a single-handed backhand? Now if you watch the World Paddle Tour at the moment, you'll see there's a few players out there that use a double-handed backhand for some shots, but then they might use single-handed for others. So in this video, hopefully we're going to try and clear some of that up. The first thing I'd like to say is that it is acceptable to hit a double-handed backhand. Now, I know a lot of coaches and players that when they come to paddle, they absolutely refuse to use double hands and it has to be single. But there are populations like junior players or ladies that physically find it much easier strength-wise to hit a better ball with double hand. And also there are players that come from tennis that have excellent double-handed backhands that find it easy to transition that shot to the paddle court. Like in tennis, the double-handed backhand is there to generate power using that left hand to push through the ball. It's the same in paddle. And it's often on balls that have come off the glass or you're deep in this corner and they use a double hander in order to generate a lot of power and hit a nice low ball over the net, putting their opponents under pressure. As the double hand is mainly used for power, you'll find that there are a lot of cases on the court where it's much easier to hit a single-handed shot rather than a double. For example, if it comes off the double glass or off the back glass and it's going away from you, you have more reach with a single hand than you do with a double. So a lot of players will take the hand off and they don't need the power in this situation, so they hit a nice controlled shot with just with a single hand. The same applies if they're trying to use control above power. If they're trying to hit a nice lob or they're hitting down to the feet, they'll often take that second hand away. Now you'll see there are exceptions like Lima, for example, he'll often hit a double-handed lob, but most of the time when there's a controlled shot or a soft shot, they'll use a single hand. And when they're going for a nice, solid, powerful shot, either down the line or cross court, they'll use the double hand. You'll often see as well them roll over the ball slightly when they're gonna hit a cross court angle. So this is the times when you would use a double hand over a single hand. The reason the majority of players use a single-handed backhand and the same reason that the majority of coaches teach this is because in paddle you don't need power. So a lot of players can generate enough power with a single-handed backhand in order to play the point and to add a double hand is only complicating the technique. So that's why most of the players on the tour will use a single-handed backhand because they don't need to generate that extra speed on the ball. But there's no problem with players that want to get more power on the ball or players that transition from tennis to paddle with a double-handed backhand in using that double-handed backhand. So they don't have to change to a single, but they should be very selective when they use the double-hander and when they use the single-hander, as we've illustrated in this video. I hope that helps. I hope it's cleared up a few of those issues between the double and the single. And if you have any questions, please pop them down below and let me know which you use, if you use a double or a single, if you have any preference. I'll see you guys on the next video.